Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video that I released about a day or so ago does not even come close to reflecting how excited uh, we are as it relates to the release of Fader 5 3. Uh, even though it's not like completely fully because they haven't really completed the documentation yet, but at least at this point we can actually use View 3 with video 53 because that is something that we've been waiting for for what feels like a decade at this point it has been so long i remember going through different videos where even for this one here one of the first that i had mentioned is one of the reasons why we haven't really updated to view 3 just yet is because we wanted beautify uh that video 53 support for some of the project that, that we have um already built and that's one of the reasons so I am extremely excited for this even I had mentioned in this tutorial here or this introduction to the UI kit module where I was saying that I was going to create a comparison video for how we would install we would typically install and configure UI kit with Nox.js uh, as opposed to using the UI kit module the UI kit module that we created recently and even that I have put off in order to ensure that we we got um videos release on Vudify 3. So this video primarily we are pretty much going to be looking at uh, how to add Vudify 3 to an existing view project and we've looked at how to install view multiple times you can see we have a whole playlist again as I had mentioned I've created view 3 applications uh, without CLI we've used with the CLI on all of that so we're just going to go ahead and look into um, adding it to an existing project now we have this open uh, so you can look at it this is the 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 official repository for Vudify and you can see that eight days ago we have viewed uh, Vudify 3.0.0 and that's pretty awesome and we also have the documentation it's not um, fully completed just yet but the core information that we need for this is there so yeah that's pretty awesome so we're gonna go ahead and actually uh try to do an installation so let's go ahead and do that now all right so one of the first thing that you'll notice here is that it it tells us that the view cli is in maintenance mode so and the way that they're generating projects now is using v and uh, they haven't really created an official guide yet for Vudify or for the CLI, the new way of doing it. So we kind of have to do a little bit of a manual step for this one. So I was thinking that I could just grab this project here, just clone it from this repository and then just install it into it. But I, I'm not sure, this is 15 months ago and view three is, I probably should check that to see where it's at i think view 3 is very very much further than there so we're looking at view 3 and this is at 3.2.41 so that's like really far from where we were here because this is just at the base so we're just going to create an, a completely new application and start from scratch so let's go ahead and do that i have my terminal open we're going to cd into projects youtube view and i want to change the name of this application here to view beautify 3 app uh, so we can use the name beautify 3 uh, view 3 for the application that is basically just adding it to it so let's go ahead and uh, do so so let's go ahead and move unify 3 here and just rename it to beautify 3 app oh i made a mistake uh, let's correct that and that should be beautify 3 app there we go so now if i ls you can see that we now rename that and now I'm gonna clear that out and we can go ahead and create or view Vudify 3 application and then add Vudify. Well, we're gonna create or view 3 application and then add Vudify 3 to it. So let's go ahead and do a yarn create. Well, this should be view create. 
the view create and uh, we should give it a name is it so let's call it beautify 3 view 3 all right and we're going to pick a default view 3 application all right so that took a minute but let's see the now into our project so beautify 3 view 3 app our view 3 and uh, we can cap the package at json uh, and now you can see that we have like the it's not the latest version but it's probably the most appropriate version that they decided to add for for this here so at least we have that now we have some additional stuff that are that are in here that's awesome we can go ahead also and just to serve this project so we can look at it to see what it looks like all right there we go so let's go ahead and open that up and what i've noticed is that it doesn't really look exactly like we're using uh it doesn't really look like exactly that we're using Vite for this just yet because you can see that it's still using the same cli view what if i well view cli thing so what i'm going to attempt to do here is to do a view add beautify and see if it will give us uh what we want in here All right, so we have only the preview. So I guess it hasn't, again, as they had mentioned in the documentation, they don't really have the full support just yet. So we, I guess we have to follow the manual step because it's not there. You could get the preview, but we don't want that. We want the official thing. So let's go ahead and do a yarn add verify at uh, 3.0.0. And there we go so we have it there now as a dependency so if we cat the package at json file you'll notice that we now have vidify 3 but there are some things that are not necessarily um there just yet and this is just because we this is looking at it from the perspective that we already have a view 3 project and we're just trying to add vidify three to it so we have to do some amount of manual configuration so let us go ahead and do that so let's um i'm gonna vim the main if i do an ls all we can see that there are it still has the view two structure so it's not exactly showing where we have that full view three application but afterwards that will change i'll probably create another video on how we do it with v later on so let's go ahead and configure it now so we're going to do a we're going to vim a source main.js and this is what it looks like so at least we are 100 percent sure that this is a view 3 app so it needs all of these stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and copy all of these because we are lazy and um, that's what we do so we're going to go ahead and do that so let's paste um everything in here so there we go all of what we need and then we want to go ahead and use this here so let's go ahead and do that so we want to say dot use and we are using beautify close that out and save all right so now you can see that it looks pretty much the same we get the directive we get the components we get beautify uh, we have we get some styles as well and as far as I can see that seems to pretty much be it um, as it relates to to that all right so one caveat to this now is that this actually installs everything regardless of if you're using them so it installs all the directive it installs all the components regardless of if you're actually using them so if that's not something that you want especially for performance that may not be something that you really really want so you may end up setting this up or configure it a bit differently All additionally you may want to add the icons to this thing here 
uh, on how to configure that so you just create that in the plugins um, section but for now we're going to leave that uh, what I will do here now is to actually just go into or up that view file and in here what what we can do is to actually I don't think they have any let's see what they have all components this is nice uh, we can grab a card just to ensure that it actually works so we want a card basic card so let's go ahead and how do I copy this though I guess I have to well, here we go so we copied all of that and I am going to um, I want to delete pretty much everything that is in here so let me just delete all of that and then I am going to paste this because this is all I need for this just to ensure that it is actually working and then we're going to write and I'm going to quit and we are going to do a yarn serve all right there we go so now we're going to refresh this page and there we go so this is our Vitify v3 application it looks a bit off um if we should go over here i guess it's because this is using the dark theme let's see here so this is using dark theme well we can switch it to light and still the font looks a bit off so let's see i think this is as a result remember at some point we may usually would have to add v app to the application for it to uh, position itself better and everything sync properly in view to uh, vidify to so if i go ahead and i'm gonna vim and change something so we're gonna add we're actually going to add two things in here so we're gonna add a v layout to this and this should help with that and additionally we want to add a v main and just to just um basically cover everything in here so let's add this down here as well so we want to close those out so our layout first and then we, well this should be our main first and then layout so let me just put that up, up at the top here so this will be our v main and that should close everything so it's right quit and I'm gonna clear that out and do a yarn serve and uh, we are going to now refresh and you can look and you may see that there is slight difference with it or not but that's just one way to to handle it to ensure that everything is laid out properly so uh i think in the next video we can look at how to add the fonts to this thing uh there is an awesome way that that vidify does it now in view vidify 3 which is another thing that i want to look at and additionally we want to look at having this in the more V setup and see how that would look like. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.